Greetings all. It's the Devious Monkey here. We're back to good old testing grounds. Why are we here? Tell you why. Because I'm testing the latest firmware upgrade on the Insta360 ONE R. Yes, can you believe? After all the shit I went through with firmware upgrades and then fixing what was messed up on the last one, why did I blindly just hurry up and download this one? I'll tell you why. Why did that go off? Oh, I'm gonna have to shut that off. Okay, that was one of the things that I didn't recheck, and that was the screen auto sleep. It was set to shut off during recording. Why the hell would anybody want the screen to shut off when they're recording? Okay, one problem solved. So again, why did I blindly just run out and hurry up and do the firmware upgrade that just came out a couple hours ago? Because I'm a glutton for punishment, that's why. I guess they did some improvements on the audio. We'll find out. I am using the Rode Wireless Go right now because it's my favorite and I just charged it up so I should have at least enough juice to get through this recording. Naturally, I'm here in Great Neck Park doing the walk of test so that we can see what everything looks like. Now, I have said this in the past that if they fixed this, that, and the other thing, that this camera would be amazing for a whole host of reasons. Number one, this thing is tiny. It's light. I think it has a really good picture. You cannot beat the stabilization on it. And everything is relatively easily editable and fixed, you know, like you can drop that wide angle fix right with a single drop in Final Cut Pro to get rid of, you know, the wonky wide eye shit. But even that doesn't bother me, although I do fix it most of the times. I think it looks great, if I hadn't said that already. Good enough anyways. And, I mean, once they fixed the audio, it was pretty good. So now, using the Rode Wireless Go that I had started using, once they fixed the firmware, it was, it was great. It was really, not a perfect camera because there's no such thing, but it was, it was really good and I enjoyed it. Okay, the downfalls. You can't really control certain things. There's no zoom. You get what you get. You had to offload everything into their app or do it on the phone. Render it if you wanted perfectly stable footage and the colors fixed and so on and so forth. And then export it from that into a file so that you could drop it into Final Cut Pro and edit. As you can see, even with sunglasses on, I'm squinting, standing in the direct sunlight. So I'll give you a, a Vista sweep here and we can test out the colors. You can hear that crow screaming at me. Right over there is a crane. All right, I am talking with my usual tone. I am walking like I always walk. What do you think? Is the stabilization still good? Again, I'm in the woods, so there is no horizon for this to lock on, but I mean, I think I'm framed pretty well. How's the audio sound? That's the biggest thing, because that's what was goofed up the most. Not the last firmware upgrade, but the one before that. So I'm hoping it all is well. I have how many cameras now? So flagship A7R4, which is only for stills. I will not shoot video on this camera. Then I have my A7C, which is strictly for filming. Haven't ever taken a picture on it. Don't plan on it. That one is going to be more of my studio cam and my other than daily vlogging cam. Then I have the ZV-1 and this, both of which I will go back and forth with as far as vlogging goes. That's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna do right now. I mean, I've been walking around for 16 minutes and I think that's more than enough to get an idea. But let me know what you think. I wanna hear what you think about the footage I mean, because again, on this tiny ass little screen, it looks great, it's super stable, and I'm sure that it sounds fantastic, but I wanna know what you think. New upgrade on the firmware for this Insta360 ONE R. Picture look good, colors look all right, 
sound good, everything's good with the stabilization, I'd love to know what you have to say and if there's anything you want me to try. So, as always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up. <laughs>